Wow, what a mess. Good morning, fish heads. Jennifer Bossy Jungle Baits, and my desk is trashed. I've got a lot of stuff going out this morning. I've got more stuff that I need to do, and I'm going to try and knock out a few videos as I go about my daily routine today. First and foremost of which is cleaning this mess up. You guys have seen the Normans, this gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. So pretty. Um, you guys have seen these. These are the Strike Kings, the 5XDs in that fantastic crawl. It's got a little bit of gold. We're not going to go into too, too much in depth on this. Although, I have to say, super stoked about this pattern really like how it came out really like how it came out but you guys have not seen these so these are the South by Southwest shad just give you a good all-around look at that as we put things into boxes this morning I'll give you one more close-up on these shad good depth portrayal y'all know I love my mesh so a couple of things that are not meshed I'm gonna pull out these are realis I've got a pair of 120s and a pair of 100s and these are going also in this order again this is a big order and he wanted a transparent color and it's sort of a this one of my favorite colors to work with is a burnt sienna and yes this is legit duo realis not the KOs it's actual merchandise and you're asking yourself maybe you're asking yourself maybe not if you know anything about duos, they don't come in a clear, or do they? <laughs> they don't come in a clear, uh, in a naked series like the Strike Kings do. So I will just let you guys ponder that. We will not discuss it. But just know that uh, they are beautiful and they are ready to rock and roll. And then we had the two in the, which it's the same pattern in the 100s. So super stoked to be getting those back to their rightful owner. And then we have like these four little bee frees, which are really cool also. Um, fun, fun, fun bait. And I'll pull one of the translucents out. He asked for a silver side. So we've got some fun little eyes on there. Not super custom, but custom, kind of custom. Just silver. And we have that white, pinkish red flip-flop paint on these. A little bit of green because the image that he gave me had a little bit of green in the cheeks and at the gill plate. And then a real light color. But he wanted these transparents as well, almost in a ghost pattern. So... That's what we got going out for him, and then all the rest of these, the Strike Kings and the Normans. Whoa, what happened to the desk? <laughs> Through the magic of editing, it is a different day. I realized, okay, so when I have busy periods, like now is one of them, I shoot a bunch of videos back to back to back, usually in the same day, and then I'll schedule them on a YouTube upload. Um, and they they go in order but I mix the order up so the end of this video that you would have seen would be me talking about prep on the Danio that you've already seen the only thing that I can do to kind of redeem that is these are now done so this is after two coats and you guys have already watched this video if you haven't go back check that out it's just me showing you step by step how I clear a jointed swim bait and uh, these happen to be on deck so I just happen to use them as an example 
um, regardless of whether it's this size or this size over here. We're going to talk about these duals here in a second. Um, regardless of the size, the process is pretty much identical. Um, various prep, adding, subtracting, different things. I think we talked about tails, so I won't, won't get into that, but I did want you to see that this is after two coats on these, uh, on these sunfish. So I'm going to save a lot of this because we flip days. A lot of this is for another time. But I am going to finish up with these. Um, these two are going out to David. And this is the blue-black. I've been getting a lot of requests for that lately. Um, out of courtesy to the angler that requested the pattern that you guys saw earlier, like August, I want to say. Like mid to late August on, um, on the Strike Kings. I'm not going to exactly replicate that pattern at least for a little bit um, he was pretty specific and he is a tournament angler so I did similar to like a pickerel trout type pattern with the blue black I've got the flip-flop paint on there and I'm going to show you it's best on the bat on the bottom it's and it's also best to show a natural light but I'm not going to take the whole rig outside this morning because we kind of have some gray skies here um, so I, again I can show you what's going on with when I talk about flip-flop paint you can see on this side where it's that green color and then it moves in and transcends into purple and that is not the magic of lighting i have two lights that are always the same in this one is a cool light from the left and a warm light from the right and i have a whole video describing how i set things up for lighting um it's not really trick or smoke or mirrors it's just um when you have a mix of warm and cool light in your studio or wherever it is that you're working if you're showcasing it gives a more natural uh, demonstration of what your paint is going to be doing. So anyways, this is what's well, called flip-flop paint, and it's uh, part of some of the stuff that I was talking about earlier with the Schmincke, and it's pretty good. You see it like on some of the cars, they're like, the, oh, I forget, um, I forget which, but it's a du like similar to like a DuPont color, where the cars that you'll see going down, you'll see it like a purple, and then you'll see like a greenish, and there's different shades that you guys can get into. But this is that, and it's going to go back for a third coat. You can see Matt's Dead Meat Customs on here. He and John have signature um, eyes in their collections, and you can always tell when you've got some good custom work going on. This is Matt's Cross Eye which I thought was pretty cool for this particular one. And then I did the white crappie. And this is also one of his eyes. So, hey Matt over at Dead Meat, thank you. It's really cool to finally be able to showcase some of your stuff. I've been showcasing John's for years and I love John dearly. Um, John has been really, really good to me and I appreciate him. And you have too, Matt. So I just, I wanted to be able to showcase some of your stuff as well and get it out into the world um, because I, I'm pretty sure that you guys are maybe the only two in the States, but definitely the most prominent two in the States that are doing custom eyes at such a upscale level as you're doing. So shout out to Dead Meat on these. And there you have it. I've got just a little bit of the, the shifting paint on this as well, but not as much, only because it's a crappie and it's a white crappie. So a little bit of marbling on the bottom of it, which I like. Uh, yes, I will use mesh. Now, obviously, there's no mesh on this one, and I do a lot of baits without mesh, like especially shad patterns don't have a whole lot of mesh, if any. Um, <clears throat> it just it mimics some depth on the fish that um that i'm just real happy with it's my style so there you have it folks thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit this morning i hope you have a fantastic weekend it's coming up on the weekend it may not be when you guys watch this video but i sh i sure appreciate the view so have a good weekend catch a bunch of fish um good morning good evening good afternoon whenever it is that you guys are watching this video cheers and happy casting from jekyll baits Thank you.